welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to an episode of the weaning journey. So it is Monday and I am about to make Casper some Ote porridge fingers which is something that he has never had before and it's just something new for us to try. So I'm just about to put the raspberries in the microwave as they are frozen. So I'm just going to melt those, mush them, add the oats, add some breast milk out of the freezer and then I will show you how I'll make the fingers. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. in the microwave and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let them cool for five minutes and then I will cut them into fingers and serve. And so I've cut the oat fingers up and I've literally just got two on the plate because there's no point like putting loads on there and making it look all fancy because he's not going to eat it anyway. He'll just play with it which is fine because he's just going to get the feels and the textures and if he eats it I'll be very proud. And then I literally just have a bit of the apple and pear puree left that is from Sainsbury's that was in my last weaning vlog. It will have been on the Friday because you can put them in the fridge for three days so today's the third day. So it's the last of the puree from the last vlog. So I'm just going to give these oat fingers a few more minutes to cool down. Wait, you're getting excited, aren't you? And then what I'll do is just pop them in front of him and see how he responds. It's just going to go all over the floor. I can just see it now. Oh my god. Hun, what are you doing? You can eat it. Yeah. Is it just a toy? Wow, bud. The dining room's covered in oats already. You're licking your lips, but you're not. But you're not putting it to your mouth. Is it nice and squishy? Yeah. Is it nice and squishy? Yeah. Throw it on the floor. That's fine, hun. Look at his little concentration face. <laughs> How does that feel? Good job I don't make any fancy recipes right now because it would just be a waste of time a waste of effort and a waste of money. Come on then. Put it in your mouth. Wow, these oat fingers are messy. We've got a lot on the floor, bud. Oh, that's not nice. I can't believe you love me. I'll be never ends. Let's be a more than friends. Yeah. You know I'm here to stay every single day. It is actually quite funny to watch him. As soon as that food hits his mouth, he just like does a shiver and like <laughs> takes it away. 
but he has actually just eaten a little bit of puree. He's kind of fed it himself, which... Mm. Oh, wow. This is the whinge. Mm. The Casper whinge. Mm. So there's more on the floor than there is in his mouth and he has had a little bit of puree which I'm quite happy about. It just obviously is just getting more taste and textures but he'll only really have it if he takes lead of the spoon. Go on then. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Don't slam it everywhere honey. Go on. Not going to do it now are you? You're going to pretend that you can't do it. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Cheers, son. <laughs> right on the ankle. Right on the ankle. What do you think to that? He says, I don't care, Mum. I ain't bothered. You've just eaten it, haven't you? We just missed that. Let's get you some more, then. Let's get you some more. Oh. <gasps> Look. You can put it in your mouth. Yeah, there we go. Good boy. Good boy. See, so yeah, as I was saying, I'm glad I've not wasted loads of time on making these. And I've not wasted loads of ingredients. Just a few oats, a few frozen raspberries and a little bit of frozen breast milk. So there we go. Day, I don't even know. I might be like on day 21 now. Day 21 of weaning. Still going shit. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's just, it's just all fun and games, isn't it, honey? Yeah. Just, yeah. You just know what you want. I bet if I put chocolate in front of you, you'd probably eat it. Mm. Probably like me, aren't you? So anyway, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Okay, so today it is currently about half past five and we have actually already given Casper some food today. So my mum came round so I could do her nails and she was here and I just completely forgot to film. So what he had earlier was the porridge fingers that I gave him yesterday, which he did not eat again. Although he put them in his mouth and he was a lot more responsive to them than he was yesterday. He did actually sort of try to taste them, but then he just dropped it again. And he had some Ella's Kitchen apricot and banana baby rice, which he did actually quite like. And But my mum kind of force fed it him, which obviously I would not do. But you know what parents are like. They just do what they want to do, don't they? Obviously, he wasn't crying or anything. And he was actually opening his mouth a lot more than what he does with me. So he did actually like that. And now I'm just giving him a little snack. So he's having a blueberry wafer from this Kiddylicious range and also I will just give him a melty puff. So I'm just gonna try and introduce solids like twice a day now. I saw someone put on a Facebook mum's group that I'm in and she said that her daughter's seven months old and the health physicist said she should be eating three meals a day and Casper doesn't even really eat one a day. So I thought what I'm gonna do is give him a meal a day and then just give him like little snack maybe like tea time because this is when he gets a bit ratty so and now that he's dropped the feed so he's kind of dropped like this feed that he has now or sort of half four and it's now half five i'll give him little snacks instead I do kind of feel like that mum that said they weren't going to give the baby like all these pre-made things but here I am giving my baby all the pre-made meals that you can buy but hopefully when he starts eating more I can make a lot more fresh freshly homemade meals for him and he can sort of start eating with me and Josh as well so tomorrow I'm going to give him avocado on toast again because he really likes toast and then obviously I want to get him more used to the avocado I think that's what I'll give him anyway. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Are you enjoying that, honey? Yeah. Hi everyone, it is now Wednesday and it's around half past one. And I've just made Casper some lunch. So we've got toasty avocado fingers, 
some of yesterday's puree and then just a little tomato wheel which i've just bought from aldi and it is from seven months plus but i just thought i would give it to him anyway so i'm going to pop it down in front of him just ignore the light it's quite bad and also just ignore the bags under my eyes i'm just on my phone because my camera has died i did actually manage to fix it but it's died so you can't really see him because of the light but he's just smashing it up in his hands but i'm gonna hopefully try and get him to eat something today so he hasn't been he hasn't had a bottle for just over three hours and he's now going around four hours for a bottle so i thought what i'd do is see if he'll eat or if he's just gonna be too hungry so we're just gonna see how it goes yeah Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're talking to it. So we had to give up because he started crying. But that is what he's eaten out of three toast fingers. So I reckon he's eaten one and a half altogether. And he's had a tiny bit of puree, but you're not that bothered, are you, honey? No, no, he isn't. So I'm going to give him a little bit of puree this evening, kind of just before we start the bedtime routine. And yeah, he's definitely just getting better at just eating things and putting things in his mouth. So and toast is also definitely one of his favourite things. We did just have a little gagging episode, which was the first one that we've had. And I had to sort of really stop myself and just let him get on with it and watch him gagging because you're not meant to interfere unless they're fully choking but i knew he wasn't choking because he could breathe and stuff and he, he wasn't going red or anything but it was a little bit scary wasn't it bud so i think i said yesterday i can't remember i saw someone on one of the facebook groups that i'm in saying that baby should be eating around three meals a day by seven months casper and obviously he's six and a half months and i just think he is nowhere near that at all so I am just going to try and offer him food more often in the day, but I think he's tired now. Oh, you probably want a bottle, don't you? So this morning we have matching eggy bread. So Casper's got a few little fingers of eggy bread and cinnamon, and then I'm going to give him some of this piccolo apple and cherry yogurt, which has got oats in as well. And all he's interested in is his new little sippy cup, but he can't use it yet, so he's a getting a sippy cup so he's getting a little bit frustrated but i've just got a slice of the bread with peanut butter on just because there was loads of egg mixture left and i didn't want to waste it so we're going to give casper some of the bread what's this Nice. Nice. Hello. 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 You okay? <coughs> He's absolutely loving this yogurt. Messy, isn't it? But it doesn't matter. But it's one of the first things that you've 
really, really liked in pure air form. Look how excited you are. Yeah. Come on then, let's get more on. We'll have to send it to Grandma's tomorrow, won't we? Thanks, hon. Is that nice? That yogurt? Yeah. Hat. You. <laughs> that is silly hat. Who's this? That is silly hat. The Russian daddy. Russian that daddy. Russian daddy. So Casper has done very well. I'm very proud. He really likes that yogurt. He could not get enough of it. And he probably had half of the eggy bread. There's probably half of it left. We had a few little gagging episodes, which was a little bit scary, but it's got to happen, hasn't it, bud? You need to learn how to chew and swallow. So that's Thursday done. I might just give him a few snacks in the middle of today, like maybe just a few carrot puffs. Has a peas <laughs> or something like that but we are definitely finally getting better and we are on week three so it's taken us some time hasn't it you smiling at daddy <laughs> so it is saturday morning and i am just going to film the last little bit of this episode three of the weaning vlog just because i feel like i've not properly done every day because i've actually been quite busy and yesterday he was at my mum's, so we didn't film like the whole day of a meeting. But this morning I am giving him an Ella's Kitchen pouch, which is strawberries, rhubarb and apple. So he is slowly getting better at pouches and my mum gave him quite a lot yesterday. So what I'm doing is I'm going to give him some of this and when he's had enough of this, I will then give him the solids. And this morning we're going to have avocado on toast again because it's his favourite. And that's just what he tends to like, like eating. So... I said that I wouldn't be one of them mums that just gives their kids loads of pouches but I just think I can't be arsed wasting my time making pureed food when he doesn't actually like it that much. I would honestly rather just buy it um, and I just think, I know I obviously said as well that I would stop giving him purees but I think the more flavours and taste we give him the more he's going to get used to it. So I saw this the other day and I absolutely love rhubarb so I thought yeah I'm going to try him with this one. Hello. 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 I bet mummy will like this one. Ah. Ah. Oh, your faces are funny, hun. Aren't they? You've got funny faces. You like it, but you don't like it when mommy does it, do you? Uh... Ooh, you've got a right knot in the back of your hair, hun. What have you been doing? Is that not nice? Shall mommy try it? Mmm, that is very sweet. Mm. You do it then. Don't flick it everywhere. Yeah, that's just what you're going to do. Ah. Uh, I know you like it, you just don't want to open your mouth for me, do you? Uh, 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 uh. 
exciting. Yeah. Uh... Right, I know you're going to flick it everywhere, but... Right, I'm just going to go and make some toast now because I feel like he's had... He's had like enough of it to t get the taste and the textures again. And to be fair to him, he's put he's trying to put the cereal back into his mouth. Mmm, that nice. <gasps> yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Good boy. Good boy. Just don't deep throw it yourself. Right, I'm just going to go and make the toast and I can see him anyway because we have a little gap through our kitchen into the dining room. <laughs> Hiya honey. Hiya. So I am giving him two toast fingers with avocado on because I don't want to over phase him. So, and he's just now eating his bib. Come on hon, what's this? Your fave? It's your fave. <laughs> wow. That, that. Yeah. He absolutely loves avocado on toast, which I'm not too bothered about. Obviously, avocado is good for you, it's full of fat and not sugar. And then obviously the bread is not like he's eating loads of bread. I'm also going to try him with prunes this morning again because this pouch has been open for a few days now. So it needs using today and he's not really pooing properly. So hopefully the prunes will help. So he absolutely loves it when he can feed the purees for himself. He's got the little spoon that he can hold himself. And he's just... Show us how you do it then. Don't drop it on the floor. Show us how you do it. Good boy. Nearly. Yeah, there we go. You've got prunes all over your face. You have. You look like you've got HP sauce everywhere. So yeah, guys, we are getting better and better. And we are obviously on week... Well, it's technically week four, but we're on episode three. Like, this is the third week of weaning on YouTube so we are doing better and we are gradually getting there which I'm really really happy and proud of him so I gave him three toast fingers and that is all that's left <laughs> there's basically a full one and then like a mushed up other one so he's probably eaten like a definitely a full piece and then he's had quite a bit of puree to be fair and all I have to do is obviously load the spoon for him and then he's the one that pops it in his mouth. So thank you for watching episode three of our weaning journey and I'm going to continue this for a good 12 weeks I think just until he's like fully fledged eating and you can just sort of follow our journey. I mean if you want me to just keep going until he's like five. <laughs> If you want me to keep going, then just let me know. But I plan on sort of stopping when he fully eats a lot of food and people can like watch the journey of him gradually learning to eat so that they don't feel alone. But if you'd like me to keep going, then do just let me know. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.